you read about the Mitzvah Bikurim, that as the first of the Shivas Haminim, seven species of Eretz Yisrael, they ripen, the farmer designates and identifies that first fruit or grain that ripens, and he designates it as Bikurim. The Bikurim are only permitted to the Kohen, it has the same halocha as truma and as chalo. Chalo is called reishis arisisechem, the first of the tithing of your batter. Truma is also the first. It's reishis, and this is bikurim from the word bechor. It's the first, the first of the fruits that ripen. And the Torah tells us, v'lokachtem reishis kopri adomo, You put it in the basket. You bring it to the Bishamigdosh and you come to the Kohen, you make your declaration, and then you give it to the Kohen after you wave it. So Rabbeinu Bachyo, in his introduction to Parshish Kisovo, explains you take the Rashis, which is the fruit or the grain. And you bring it to the location which is racious. The Beis Amigdosh, it's the chosen location of the world. On behalf of the racious, on behalf of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who is Kadmon Shalodon, he preceded existence. And you give it to the Kohen who's racious because he was chosen by HaKadosh Baruch Hu to be deficient. So he sums it up, you take the racious to the location of the racious, on behalf of the Rashis and give it to the Rashis to represent that Kodesh Baruch Hu. We find that there's a mitzvah I say in the Torah of Allah to Bidrochov, a Jew has an obligation to emulate the way of a Kodesh Baruch Hu, his characteristics. Mahua Rachum, Afatote Rachum, he's merciful, he's gracious, he's Malbisharumim, he dresses the naked as he did with Odom and He's Kovah Mesim. He buries the dead as Moshe Rabbeinu. So we have to try to emulate his characteristics, his ways. What's the value of having the semblance of our profile to be similar to his? Because as a result of that, we establish a commonality with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, and therefore we have greater likeness to him and relevance to him. And therefore we can be Dovig we can, we can attach ourselves to them. Of course, when there's greater ca- commonality, there's greater compatibility. Klal Yisrael is racist to also. Bracious Bora Lokimi Sashamayim Visoretz. In the beginning, God created the world, heaven and earth. So Chazal tells Bishul Rashis. Bishul Torah Shinikris Rashis. Bishul Yisrael Shinikris Rashis. So also, Klal Yisrael is racist. Why do we have the greatest relevance to Akkadish Baruch more than all the nations of the world? HaKadosh Baruch is racist, we are the racist. Before the Chet of Chet Egel, who were meant to be the, the Kohanim? The Bechorim. Not, not the Bnei Levi. They were not meant to be the Kohanim. The Bechorim. Why? Because again, the Bechor, who's Peter Rechem, he opens the womb of his mother, therefore, he has the greater likeness to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. So, and because he has that likeness, he has greater relevance. He reflects his characteristic. And whatever reflects the characteristic of the Kodesh Baruch has Kedusha, has relevance to him. Because Kedusha is always what he, Hashem is associated with. The animal that's born, when it opens the womb of its mother, it has Kedusha's Bechora. It assumes the sanctity of a Bechor. And therefore it's a Korban. Just as a regular consecrated animal. You cannot. So therefore, again, what is the, why the Bikurim why they designated only for the Kohen? Why do they have an innate Kedusha? They have an innate Kedusha because they're racist. And they're given to the Kohen. Only the Kohen is per- permitted to partake of the, chum- of, the, of the Bikurim or the Chuma. Because since he himself reflects the characteristic of racist, only he has relevance to racist. We who are not Kohanim, we have no relevance to that racist, that level of racist, of the choicest. But Torah. Torah only has relevance to Klal Yisrael. The Gemara says in Chagiga that Akum Shaloma Torah, Naju studies Torah's Chayv Misa, because it's referred to as, it's called Mureses Yaakov. 
Torah tziv lono Moshe Morosha Al tikra Morosha el Mureses. It's don't it should not be read the heritage, but the betrothed. And just of Chas Rishon, a man is married to a woman, and somebody engages with her intimately. It's considered adultery. Identically, it's Mureses because Torah is racious and we're racious. We're the only one of relevance to it, and therefore the Naju who actually engages in it. He has a serious liability.